It's uh, a Sunday. I think it's uh, what Sunday is this? Whoa! I should have put my phone. But I think I turned it off. Let me see. It's Sunday, January fifteenth. I'm recording this, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna be, be uh, posting it. Uh, I guess five days from now on the twentieth of January, which is the inauguration day of the new uh, president of the United States, which means that the outgoing president is going out. And uh, so that's what we're going to talk about today, uh, if, if we can, um, and which won't be posted until the outgoing president is going out. So that would be like uh, 12 noon, you know, something like that, uh, Eastern Coast time, you know, and it's uh, like be like 7 p.m. here. So I'll post it. Hopefully my home office with the ADSL line will be in this week and I'll post it from home. <laughs> um, yeah, this is, this is Martin Luther King's birthday, uh, a first. There's a lot of, you know, it's, it, 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 it's interesting being first, like, for, look, this top here, I love this top. This is the first, uh, one of the first tops I bought, well, in my adulthood, you know, when I was a teenager, I had I made a lot of dashikis, as we called them, and I, I designed them myself and had them made. Uh, but uh, this, in the 80s at the African Street Festival, and I brought it with me to Africa, it's one of the few African garments that I, I bought, but when I got here, I bought other African garments, and actually my wife's a designer, so she's designed a lot of garments. In fact, this is the first uh, sky that she's, well, sky crown that she's, uh, which is a lot of first. In fact, even me, you know, I'm the first person in my family, in my entire family, to graduate, you know, uh, uh, college, you know, and I'm going to graduate, it doesn't matter. So this first thing is kind of, kind of interesting. Uh, we had, uh, and, and of course, we going to talk about the first a uh, 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 black, well, he's black, black president of the United States. Uh, but what kind of black is he? It's interesting because there's a, uh, there's a movie, uh, Watch Stacks, um, great movie, great movie. And uh, uh, look at that, Richard Pryor is in it. That's all you need to know. Uh, but there's a, they, they interview the community. And one of the things one of the guys says, you know, sometimes I'd be a Republican, sometimes I'd be a Democrat, sometimes I'd be a Black Panther, sometimes, but I'm always black. I'm always black. Now, what he means by being black, this is an African American. It means that uh, somehow uh, uh, he can't trace his his lineage exactly back to what African uh, uh, nation he, he he came from, what African uh, uh, grouping that that person that he came from. Even if he could, because he went through the the transatlantic slave trade, whatever they call it, the, the Middle Passage. Uh, and he experienced the, um, the horrific realities of, of a North American slave chattel slave system, uh, then of course there's some, in his lineage, there's some miscegenation happening. We're white people and whatever, people who of different world gets together, but this was forced. So obviously this person, if he went through that, may have, probably has, uh, you know, European lineage in him someplace. I have European lineage in him someplace because my lineage goes past there. And, and some of us even have American Indian lineage in there. So, so the, the, the blackness really defines uh, uh, an attitude or uh, recently Denzel Washington was asked about race, something about race, and he says it's not race, it's culture. So when this person is saying that well, he can be this, but he's always black, he's talking about not exactly his skin color, which is obvious. He's talking about his culture, what, what, his lineage, what, what, what he feels. Uh, 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 Malcolm X would, would say, you don't catch hell because you're, 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 you're Protestant or, or Muslim. You can catch hell because you're black. From this culture, it's specifically the black culture of, of the North American uh, of the United States. Uh, and so there is the situation. What does it mean, that lineage? And let me give one more thing. I was, I was listening to something, uh, I guess over the internet, of course, because I don't pay attention to broadcast uh, entities uh, much anymore, unless they appear on the internet in segments. Um, they was talking about why, recently at least, so many um, 
slave narratives, slave movies that are made, uh, where British actors, you know, black actors come in. And they said one of the things uh, is that, well, this is conjecture. One of the things, well, that's not conjecture, is that uh, when, th when black Americans do these type of films, they go through something. John Amos famously uh, said in, in Roots, you know, that he, you know, he, you know, he get, went through something. Uh, uh, um, just also report talk about Michael K. Williams, you know, the, 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 the great actor. He, again, uh, when he was filming this label, he went through something. So there's some visual, they have to do some prayer and some, you know, healing, whatever have you. So this visual connection, this, this, uh, this lineage is there if you're black going through that middle passage. If you're not, it's not the same. So the first uh, I, a black president, and if you want, if you want to get technical because they want to be politically correct, I call him the first American African president. Um, though he has black skin, he's still the first American African president. In other words, the sensibilities are for America first, and the mentality of Africa is lost someplace. You know, um, his 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 miscegenation, his his lineage. You know, his lineage even includes uh, in, 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 on his. On his European side, he includes a, a trace to, to Dick Cheney. So, so what does it mean for this per person when he became president uh, to do what he did? What is he tapping into? Is he tapping into an American Indian? No, he's, he's not studying his life. Is he tapping into a, 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 a straight up Kenyan kind of thing? No, he's, well, maybe, you know, well, I don't know. Is he tapping into his, his, his Indonesian uh, uh, um, uh, Influence when 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 he was when his mother remarried to to an, to an Indonesian uh, person. Is he tapping into that culture? See, so he's is he tapping to his Hawaiian culture? Hawaii made him. You see, he wasn't made in the inner city. So when 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 he does something, and of course you know, of course, uh, Harvard, you know, Harvard where you become the, the the head of the law review because you have to negotiate with all these other folks. You know, uh, that's part. Of that person's culture, uh, and so, so what we're talking about here is a person uh, who was formed, formed strongly by certain things. Then finally, when he gets to say Chicago, when he gets to Chicago, he attends church a couple of times, and and and, and to claim that that uh, that blackness, but it's too late. That he's already formed. He's in his late twenties or thirties, but he's already formed. So that just becomes a a, a, a veneer, a, a, you know, a, just 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 something you can you can wash away quite quite easily. And the first uh, indications we had that something was radically wrong with the uh, with the first uh, American African president uh, was that when uh, J. Edgar Wright, when Reverend Wright was, uh, as they say, thrown under the bus by him. It was kind of interesting because I remember clearly one of the things that, that Reverend Wright said uh, uh, when they was trying to keep on going, him trying to keep the news cycle going with him, he said, uh, I'm, a, I'm a, I think he said, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a preacher or something, I'm a, I'm, a, you know, I'm a reverend, whatever he said, I'm not a politician. I don't do, no, po politicians do what they do, I do what I do. So he didn't compromise on that. So, so there is, is the problem. Now, technically, I'm not, I don't have to take responsibility for Barack Obama. Uh, when, when he first came on the scene, when he was first running, when I first heard about it in 2007, I guess it was, I, I immediately uh, you know, contacted my political friends, but, I've but one uh, such uh, uh, one, you know, folks that I contacted was, um, Elizabeth Robinson, the, the widow of, of, of Cedric Robinson, Cedric Robinson, the, you want to label him, you know, the, the, the black Marxist. Um, but she, she said clearly, this is before anything happened, she said, uh, you better watch out because uh, my information from Chicago is that he's not all that he seems. Of course, everybody was ignoring that, and me, uh, me too, I ignored it too. I was wrapped up in the euphoria. Now, since I'm living, I, was, I happened to be in the States at that particular time that was happening, but you know, I, 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 I uh, um, no, no, I hadn't been in the States, uh, yeah, i have been in the States, States when that was happening. And when I, I make, made a visit, and this was before the election, so I was, I had to vote absentee if I was going to vote. But I bought two buttons in support, you know, this, this one says, 
I am, I know I'm an Obama kid. I like that one. So I got that one. I'm an Obama kid. And that was great. So I took that button. The other button I got it straight up there. Barack Obama for President 2008. Got that button too. So part of my ritual in, 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 in the leaving of uh, Barack Obama, leaving from, from office, is to you know come that seven o'clock, you know next Friday when I, you know when I post this, and I'm also going to burn these because it should be burned. And I, I in other words, I don't come here to to praise Caesar or the guy with the Caesar haircut. I come to bury this boy because um, not because of all the wrong or all, all the um, the miscues, the miss, whatever that he's done to black people specifically in the United States. I'm on the African continent and I've seen what happened in Africa. I've seen what's happened in Africa. We got mil before we before Barack Obama, we had one, one military base in all of Africa in Djibouti. That's in the east part of Africa. Now you have a military almost like official bases straight from the Seychelles all the way over to Senegal. It's like a belt, they call it a belt. It's like a, a, a trench, they call it a trench, like that. And not to mention all the, the, you know, the killing of Africans, the killing of brown people. It's like, it's unforgivable. And, and for people to get hopped up on that, it's, it's, it's kind of strange for me. Anyway, I got out of voting for him in 2008 only because uh, it was an absentee ballot and I didn't, I didn't, I didn't I didn't send my ballot in. Then in 2012, I, I knew better, <laughs> so it was it was easier, and I basically voted for Jill Stein and and and, and, uh, and left this guy. So I, I'm not guilty of of promoting uh, the presidency or the ascension of uh, uh, Barack Hussein Obama. Uh, so that's that that's one thing that should be said. And uh, I think, I mean, it's just heartbreaking. Um, to know, I mean, when I really, the first time I really was super, I don't say suspect, but, but knew that the jig was up, was um, I was, uh, I think it's 2013, somewhere around there, I was in Paro Valley in, in, uh, in, in the Western Cape, South Africa, and I was in this big, this house, and he, this guy, we were sort of house sitting, this guy had a lot of books, a lot of books, um, that's where I, 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 I read uh, The Hidden, the history of the of the Korean War, you know, the great uh, Eye of Stone. Yeah, you get that book. Uh, uh, but one of the things that was was happening is that there was a there was the audio book of Barack Obama's uh, The Audacity of Hope. Um, that's his book, this political book. Remember, he wrote the uh, Songs of My Father, whatever it is. That was the, the personal book. And that's what they always do. And then you had this uh, political uh, book. But it was interesting because I got the I, I got the um, the audio book. It's because he won a Grammy Award for that. Won a Grammy Award, but won a Nobel Peace Prize. This, this guy won all kinds of things. I'm just guess he's gonna get a whole bunch of other things, including the Presidential Medal of Freedom sometime later in his life or whatever it is. But I, so I'm listening to Barack Obama read his book, his Grammy Award winning audio book. And I'm realizing everything he said in, the, in 2007 or whenever his book, 2006, whenever it was written, it's, he's going totally against it. Totally against it. This is, this is not just him making some speeches early on and, and, and being truthful, whatever happened. This is him going against, totally against what he was said. So while others would be uh, 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 having tears about the leaving of, of the first black president or whatever have you, I see no need for tears. I, this is joyous. Finally, the veneer, the, the, the patina is, is off. You know, we got to be straight up fighters now. If you ain't, well, you're going to be done in. So, there it is. From me, T, from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. Farewell, Barack Obama.